Android Programming When mobile phones were introduced in the market some years back, only a few people could afford them. In those days, these phones could not do much beyond calling and SMS. But with time, the number of features in the phone went on increasing and soon the smartphone was introduced in the market. Nowadays, it is rare to find a person who does not own a smartphone. Now, let us see what features make a mobile phone a smart one. The phone which can operate like a computer, that is, a phone that has an operating system like a computer. Apps which are downloaded can run on it, which can access the internet, which has a touch screen, is called a smartphone. You will observe that there are different operating systems installed on the smartphones available in the market. Of these, the more common ones are Android, iOS and Microsoft Windows Mobile. Android is the most widely used operating system in the world. The Android operating system was created by Google in 2007. The first smartphone with an Android operating system was introduced in the market in 2008. The computer operating system Linux was modified and Android was created. Linux is an open source system. That is, its source code is available freely so anyone can study it, suggest changes in it and even make changes in it. Android is also an open source system like Linux. Many versions of Android have been released since 2007. The name of each version is of some desert. The names and released dates are as you are watching in the video. Lollipop, Marshmallow and Nougat are the most common versions in use now. When you install Android, you get some apps free from Google, example, Gmail, Google Search, etc. In addition to this, if you are interested in having some more apps on your mobile for your educational or entertainment purposes, these can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. But what really are these apps? You know how a computer program is written to satisfy our requirements. Similarly, when a program is written to run on a mobile, it is called an app. Let us now see how these apps are different as compared to computer programs. The processor on the mobile phone is less powerful as compared to the processor in the computer. The mobile runs on battery and as the load on the processor increases, the charge in the battery runs out faster. The memory available on the mobile is also less as compared to the computer. Some features are available on the mobile which are not available on the computer. Example, GPS, camera, different types of screen orientations, etc. These things have to be considered when we write an app. Let us now learn how to create an app. The very first thing that you would need to do is to download and install Android Studio on the computer. Android Studio is available as a free download on this website. https colon double slash developer dot android dot com slash studio slash